everybody. My name is Lynn Ann Daly, and I'm the executive director of the Art Lab located at Snug Harbor Cultural Center in Staten Island. Uh, today, we are here to interview with the artists who are participating in our 18th annual open show. This has become one of the greatest traditions of our art gallery that every year we invite artists to come and bring us two pieces of work any type of visual artist uh, welcome to attend. And we really try to accommodate any type of uh, artwork that they're willing to bring here uh, to the exhibit. This year, we had over 30 participating artists and we have 72 pieces of artwork ranging from paintings and drawings to sculptures and other, other pieces of art as well photography, collage, and such. Uh, many artists look forward to this exhibit every year because it's a way of us to get together and see what everybody's been doing. Usually this tends to be quite local, quite a local event, but it is a very large local event. It is the largest call to visual artists every year on Staten Island. We get together generally for the opening with a big reception, which we could not do this year. So we decided instead to use this show, at, because it really is our signature event, to use this show as our launch for our YouTube channel and to be able to share it with people all over who may not be able to attend or would never even have the opportunity that it would come, come across their way. So we're very excited about this. And while we really look forward to the large gatherings that we had in the past where the open show has brought many people together, we've had uh, musicians just come and be willing to play for the show. We've uh, toasted the new year because it's always our first show for the new year every year. And we've done collaborative events with the show with the parks department. It's usually a, as well, it's a fundraiser for us. And we ask for $25 for hanging fees and uh, to be able to present the show. But we, um, we do that for two pieces of artwork that's able to be shown in this way for five weeks. We are open seven days a week. And even during the, these times, we are open. Our gallery is still open for viewing hours seven days a week and you can still see the show in person. Um, but it will be closing right around the time that this is airing. So it's on, it's been on for a few weeks now. And we just look forward every year and we look forward to this new venture where we are going to be able to bring you the art, a little interview and a little insight into the artists and why they put into the show and why the art lab is important to them. Because we are not just uh, a gallery, we are also an art school where we serve people all over the community from three years old to all the way through adult, uh, show, having art classes in all different art media, such as painting, drawing, uh, ceramics, stained glass, um, printmaking, photography, darkroom photography, all kinds of wonderful hands-on studio classes, very small sizes right now that we can still bring to the public. And thing we, we offer, I think for artists a way, visual artists a way to really get together and connect. Because with visual artists, many of us work individually alone in our studio. And it really helps us to see in our art in another way through the eyes of others and to share, to share in our, our work and all those endeavors. It, it's the fun part. So I really thank you for being here. It's so wonderful to present this in this new forum where we can enjoy the interviews and we can enjoy it online whether we can be here personally or not. And I hope you enjoy the interviews. Okay, um, I'm Craig Manister. Um, I have a long history with the Art Lab. Uh, I wasn't an original member. The Art Lab originally started about 1975 
in a building that was a laboratory of some kind, so therefore it was called the Art Lab, and then it moved to Snug Harbor soon after. So uh, here we are in uh, trying to um, make good use, uh, reuse of buildings that were purposed for other reasons. And um, it's just a great place. And I've been there for 30 years because I believe that it, it, it's an important place in Staten Island should have an art school like that. Um, I'm a teacher at the College of Staten Island, and I learned how to teach at the art lab, and I still teach there. But uh, when I got an opportunity to teach at the college, I was able to walk right in because I learned how to do it at art lab. So um, it's a great place for people to learn all sorts of things, no matter what their level of accomplishment is. It's just a great place to be with great people. And um, the, comf the comfort level of the facility is just really great. You don't have to feel that you're uh, going to be chastised if you drip paint or something like that. So it's just a really great place to be at. Um, so I am uh, a teacher, as I said, at the College of Staten Island, and I run their gallery. And um, I was also a curator of many independent projects, but also a curator for the Newhouse Center at one time. And, um, and of course, mostly I consider myself a painter. So what I put in for this show is um, paintings of things that I have around. And what I have mostly around in the pandemic is uh, garbage and recycling. So I have been a still life painter for the last few years. And I am painting objects that I take out of my recycling bag and um, putting them into structures that I think are classical. Um, I, in fact, am very influenced by art history and um, the, the challenge is always to keep it relevant uh, because of the way it was put together and it has all of these subtle elements like the columns that surround the temple are closer as you go out to the edges and that adds a level of grace and um, and it also spaciousness and buoyancy. There are all these subtle elements. Um, to know more about that, you have to study with me. But um, and I hope you will at our lab. But um, it, it's really a wonderful thing. And those elements get into my painting. So what I have submitted into the show is uh, very influenced by art historical elements, but also things that are contemporary that are around me. I think that. It's a wonderful opportunity to use the open show because I think showing your work is part of the creative process and it allows you to see it in a different way and get feedback and measure your work against contemporary people that are around you and maybe your friends. And it's just really useful. So I thank Art Lab for that and I love the work that they do and that's why I work for it. And um, I hope to continue doing that and I hope the show will, will be well received because it deserves to be. Everybody, hi Richard, thank you so much for doing this. This is really such a wonderful thing that you're doing, bringing us up into this great age of Zooming and digital stuff, it's great, wonderful. Um, Art Lab, Art Lab is amazing. It's a very unique place on Staten Island, anywhere. It's a place that brings everyone together little kids, adults, students, professionals. It's an amazing place. Uh, the people that run it have big hearts. Um, it's just a, a very, very special place in my mind. Um, you walk in, you smell the oil paint, you smell the ink. It's, it's just terrific. I've been around Art Lab, I guess, since 1984, since I've had a studio at Snug Harbor. I started teaching there in 2001 and I've always participated. I love the open show because it brings everybody together, professionals, students, amateurs, different levels of proficiency. It's a wonderful community thing and it really just brings everyone together, something we need. So it, it's a great place. In terms of the paintings um, that I put up, I put up uh, two, sky, one water skyscape, one skyscape. I've been painting um, for a long time. 50 years and the last I guess 30 of those years I've concentrated on nature trees uh, in particular and the last I guess 10 years on clouds and water and three trees thrown in as well and um, my whole idea is escape into the beauty that is always around us and just keep tapping into it because that gets you through everything 
and beautiful things make me feel uplifted and I connect with a different kind of spirit that's going on in this very temporary existence and it just makes me feel great. It's hard work because I paint everything from memory and um, I do a lot of walking. I sort of snap pictures in my mind and go to the studio and work it and try to get the sensations I feel from the walking out onto the canvas. So that's what I have in the show. And um, I'm just very grateful for Art Lab for organizing these events, especially in this very scary time of COVID. It really brings people together. And thank you so much for doing this. Hi, my name is Tina Keery. I am an illustrator and digital artist, also graphic designer. I have been working at Art Lab for almost two years now. Uh, this is my first time in the open show and I have two pieces. Uh, they are very highly based off of anime and manga. Uh, I've kind of been influenced by anime growing up and comic books. Uh, I kind of was just going for a fun kind of cutesy look. Uh, uh, I also teach anime, manga, children's art at the art lab. Uh, I've been working there for the past couple years and I love it there. It's just a great place to be creative and express yourself. I went there as a child and it has this unique smell. I know that sounds really weird, but there's a smell when you walk into Art Lab that just screams Art Lab. It's just kind of a nostalgic thing, but the art lab is somewhere that I feel safe. I feel very comfortable and I enjoy my time there. They're friendly, they're just in general awesome people. And everyone that I have met through the art lab has become a friend to me and has been very good for my artistic career. Hi, my name is Lenny Labrizzi, and I'm one of the artists exhibiting in the open show at Art Lab. Um, the pieces that I have in the show are probably a little different from a lot of the other pieces because they are uh, a printing technique called mezzotints, uh, which I've been doing at Art Lab for about 15 years. In fact, I learned um, from, the, from um, one of the founders of Art Lab. Herman Zaga, who uh, was really uh, uh, a genius at, at all kinds of printmaking, but he did amazing mezzotints as well. And <clears throat> uh, mezzotints are a, a printmaking technique. Uh, it's done on a copper plate. This is the plate it, that's already been rocked. Um, and once this is inked and printed, it will look like this. Um, it's a little dark, but um, that's the the final product. Um, in the in the show, I oh, and in order to make that happen, uh, you use a tool called a rocker, and this is what makes all the impressions on the plate, and um, and then a couple of smaller tools to actually um, scrape. That's this one and burnish which is this one and that's how you make um, the image uh, come to life and it's actually sort of a reverse image uh, you what you start off with is all black and you actually bring the the tones and that's the the italian mezzo tinto is it, it's uh, half tones is what that means so all the half tones between white and black is what makes that the image finally and um, the two pieces that are in the show um one is called no escape and uh it's just a, an image of um actually i took a picture of my son um with his hands on a fence like he's trying to get out of some place. And I, I, interestingly, I did that, I believe it was in 2014, uh, much before all this talk about people in cages and, 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 and um, all the, the problems with immigrants. Um, and, but it's, uh, I, I think it's a poignant in that way. Um, and then the second piece 
is a image of the Bayonne Bridge, um, which is a very beautiful bridge. It's a, it's a, it's a steel arch bridge um, that uh, connects Staten Island to New Jersey. And it's uh, usually when you see images, uh, you know, of Staten Island, they, they show you the Verrazano Bridge, uh, which is also a very nice bridge. Um, but this one, I think, is even is even nicer. And the interesting thing about the, the piece that's in the show is that when I did that piece, the roadway was 64 feet lower than it is today. They actually raised the roadway in order to allow taller ships to get under it. Um, so it's sort of an image you won't see if you go and look at it. Um, and uh, it's, it's wonderful to be able to work at Art Lab in order to do what I do, in order to do these mezzotints. Um, you need a, a press, which is a two-ton hulking metal thing. And, you know, you just can't have one in your house because it's, first of all, very heavy to move. And... Um, you know, you, re you really need a, a solid place for it. Um, and also you need places to do the inking and the cleaning and all of that kind of stuff. So it's really nice to be able to have a space like that to do this work. Um, hope you enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. Uh, nice to see you here. My name is Kim Bao. Um, this time I joined Outlet show. Um, it's it's the, um, I think it's the third or fourth time for me to join Artlab show. You know what? Last month when Artlab had the open core to the old artist, it's really a really a positive hope for us because you you know everybody needs you to, you can join something in person. The entity show is just <laughs> it's like a big positive movement. So. I really appreciate our lab to do this for us. And uh, this time is two pieces. Actually, uh, one, the title is Blast. It's a Buddha with all the lilies. Um, another one, uh, the title is um, Good Feng Shui. You know, Good Feng Shui in its Chinese words. And if you translate into English, the meaning is um, you kind of good good wealth, good fortune, good all kinds of good things, you know, good wishes. So from the title, you can see, um, uh, actually I'm trying to uh, describe something. I really bless people and uh, bless the whole world, bless America, you know, bless my hometown, home country. And uh, yeah, I just feel like the, the pandemic mm, period is really, <laughs> make trouble so uh, I hope all the, mm, the best, best wishes come true so the whole world can come back to the original world and uh, we can have a good life again so that's why I um, painted the two art pieces hanging to the palette and the, the second one good feng shui is about uh, something like Chinese style uh, Calligraphy and uh, and the conical bird. That's good feng shui too. You know, in China, the red color is a very good feng shui means meaning. And as myself, I, I can introduce a little bit of myself. Um, I came from China, mainland China. I was a professor. Uh, I taught fashion design in the college for 16 years before I moved here. And I moved to here more than 10 years ago. And the reason the first time I came here is because uh, as a professor, exchange professor, visitor, I came to uh, visit uh, FIT, you know, the famous Fashion Institute of Technology. And when I went there, it's just like open mind for me. <laughs> so I fall in love with New York City <laughs> at once just like other people <laughs> who can ignore this, right? right? It's amazing, this whole world, it just all kinds of things, just so exciting. So, and when I started one class, the name is Photoshop, you know, during the early 
years of this century, very few people know Photoshop. Not like now, everybody have a cell phone, have all kinds of apps. You can do all kinds of filters, <laughs>、um, play on your phone all time, all kinds of styles. But that time, very few people know Photoshop. And when I get into the class, it's just at the beginning, you know, as my、um, country, we our teaching system is a little bit, especially our teaching system is a little bit、uh, similar like、uh, Russian. Everything is about、uh, realist and、uh, like lighting, like shading,、uh, that kind of thing have to be really perfect, right? You know. And first time when I be here, I saw the student, young students in FIT. They can draw a really rough outline of an animal, dog, or whatever, and the the. Upload into the computer, use the Photoshop, and the, just three hours later, they can get a piece like a magic, fantastic, all kinds of fancy result. It just really shocked me. So, <laughs>、um, my name is Pat Dechico. I'm a stat, native Staten Islander,、uh, painter, sculptor, printmaker, musician, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> and I just enjoying my retirement very much. I've been associated with the art lab for probably nearly forty years,、um, at least thirty or more. I、uh, was at the first life drawing class at Norwood Avenue, and ran the life class at the art lab for twelve years. And、uh, Herman Zaga, who you just heard about from.、Uh, Um, when we were breezing, my good friend um, um, saw my work, invited me into the class, and、uh, I went into the class, and I I didn't see much happening, or I thought I didn't see much happening.、Uh, but over the years, I I understood there was a there was a lot going on there,、um, and I've been the instructor there for. Since Herman died, I took up the slack when he passed away,、um, and、uh, so the work that I put into the show or paintings that I did、uh, on a working vacation. I, when I go on vacation, if I'm not working, it's not a vacation, and if I'm not painting or you know, doing something that I love to do,、uh, I'm not just a sightseer. Uh, so these painting that one of the paintings, the one at the beach, was done from under the boardwalk in Naples, Florida,、uh, under conditions that were, <laughs> to put it mildly,、um, rough. I had been in a、uh, a car accident and I got a whiplash injury, and I was,、uh, but I soldiered on, and I, and I did the work from under the boardwalk. I did have to chink up the. Planks in the boardwalk so that the sand didn't fall down onto the palette and、uh, and into the painting,、um, but that worked out. And then the other painting, I believe, is、um, from my bedroom window, which is a view towards the Verrazano Bridge. So when I lay in bed at night and I put the shutters open, I'm looking out at this beautiful scene, and have been for. Nearly, nearly forty years, and、uh, I love where I live. I live、uh, in the, one of the best places in the world, Staten Island and New York City. What more can I say? I'm within walking distance of the ferry. I、uh, frequently,、uh, on a weekly basis, pandemic or not,、uh, go into the city and sketch on the ferry, and I sketch in the subway, and I sketch in the city. Um, I use a small sketchbook um, and uh, have many、um, wonderful little little things.、Um, the sculpture, of course, you can see behind me. Those were done up in Wagner College, where I was the facilitator and、uh, got to do the work for、uh, just the price of、um, you know setting up the place and.、Uh, um, Helping people out when they needed it.
Um, that's about uh, all I have to say. Hi, everybody. My name is Melissa Preeb, and I'm the director of operations here at Art Lab. I actually just recently celebrated my 20th year here. Uh, Art Lab is that kind of place. Um, when you come, you want to stay. We consider ourselves family. And once you take a class here, you're part of the family. Once you participate in an open show, you're part of the family. Art Lab's family started in 1975. About our eight artists formed a collective um, where they had a building on Norwood Avenue, which they renovated. And they each had studio space. And in order to assist them with paying their rent in the studio space, they started teaching classes. Then we were incorporated in 77 and um, we've been going strong ever since. Um, we've been through a lot of setbacks that would have taken down organizations probably with a little less history and a little less uh, ability to make their own money because um, we typically in the past have made a good deal of our money from classes that we offer. Um, the open show was started in, um, well, I'm not going to be able to do the years because I can't do math on the spot, but we started, this is our 18th year. Um, the open show was proposed um, as a fundraiser and as a community outreach um, by then executive director Megan Pringle. Um, and the first year <laughs> we were inundated. Um, I think I'm going to say we were well over 200 pieces the first year. Um, and it's there have been some gangbuster years. Um, this year, of course, uh, with the pandemic, it's a little shorter than usual, but we're very excited about this visual, this online component of bringing people in to the Art Lab family, um, into the show. And what about the open show I feel is most important is that it gives people who have just recently started to make art, started to realize what visual art can be to them and how it helps them communicate, how it helps them address feelings and thoughts that they have inside they don't know what else to do with. There's always art. Um, so the open show allows those people to come in and exhibit right next to a professional who regularly does commissions or sells their paintings for thousands of dollars. Um, and it's just, it's just always an incredible mix. We've had um, hats entered before um, that people have made. We've had collages, we've had needlepoint. Um, it's, we don't say no to anything and people will ask what's the theme or what are the limitations and where like, it's the open show, it's open. Uh, so we're proud of that. We're proud to be in our 18th year um, and hoping maybe coming up on the 20th, we can have a big bash again with people here. Um, but we're glad to be able to share this with you um, under the certain, certain current circumstances um, because y'all can't come here as you might before, though we do have viewing hours for this open. Um, so that's about it for me, except for I encourage anyone who's watching to think about supporting the Art Lab. We are thus far surviving the pandemic, but it's it's been a struggle for us. And more than anything, we want to be able to continue to be here for the community, for future generations of the community. So you can donate by sending a check. We take donations of art supplies. Uh, you can also donate through PayPal. You can sign up for our email list and we'll regularly send out emails about our classes, gallery shows and appeals uh, for funding. So thank you for considering, well, no, Thank you for being part of the Art Lab family, because if you watch this video, you're now part of the family. And I want you to find yourself at Art Lab and create something.
Hi, um, I'm Wendy Jackalo. I'm a medical and scientific illustrator, and I live in West Brighton on Staten Island. And um, I have two pieces in the open show this year. Uh, usually I put in prints from printmaking class, but due to the pandemic, obviously that's been all on hold. So I've been doing a lot of painting. And uh, I guess the thing I've noticed was even though we're shut down, nature is not. And so I've been coming a lot to Snug Harbor and it's very peaceful and it's very beautiful and I've been drawing and painting. So um, the one painting is actually from my backyard and that was actually the very first day of the lockdown. I drew the oak tree that's in my yard and painted that and that's an oil painting. And then um, my second piece is um, an on-site watercolor that I did in Snug Harbor just um, just uh, just recently, about a month or so ago. And uh, I've been doing a lot of work with um, pen and ink and then adding watercolor washes. And it's, it's, it's really a nice thing because it's very transportable compared to the, the uh, oil paints. Um, so that's what I have in this year's show. Um, but uh, I've been coming to the art lab for over 20 years. And uh, it started out where I wanted to take a class and I didn't know much about printmaking. I never studied that in college. I studied more of the medical and scientific art. And uh, Herman Zaga, who was a premier printmaker, an expert in mesotints, was teaching the class. So I started doing that um, years ago. Sadly, Herman passed away, but we continued with the class. And I, I do mainly etchings and I've recently gotten into monotypes, which is a kind of printmaking where you um, will paint or put marks on a on a, um, a plate and then you run it through the press and you get a one-off print. So um, it's a lot like painting and I guess that was my springboard to the new paintings that I've been doing for the art lab. Um, it's a wonderful community here of like-minded artists and people that want to try new things and I'm very grateful that it's in my neighborhood and it's on Staten Island and it's just such a wonderful program that they have here for all ages, whether you're a beginning artist or an, an experienced artist, there's always something here at, at the art lab. And like I said before, I'm truly grateful that it exists. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Dennis Green and um, I have some pieces in the show this time. They are uh, collage pieces. And uh, it's uh, very, the pieces themselves are connected with how I produce the pieces. I generally start from a very chaotic uh, situation where I'm just gluing random pieces down. And I keep gluing things down until I start to see an image. And the images are fairly literal, uh, fairly figurative. Uh, and so this is a way of drawing out uh, the metaphysical uh, experience that I've had. It seems like I'm discovering these choices, but I'm actually making them myself. Um, I like a lot uh, Joe Campbell's idea. Art carries the radiance of the transcendent through the field of time. And so, you know, to try to hit that high note uh, is a woman, wonderful life endeavor. Uh, Art Lab is, is, a, is a pretty cool place. Um, I was just about to go back there. They have a Thursday monoprint session uh, that you can work all day for a small fee. Uh, and it's very nice, uh, especially when you're doing creative work, to have the company of some other people to, um, to uh, just give you a, a certain amount of uh, fortitude. And, uh, you know, uh, artists have always kind of reinforced each other. So it was, it's nice to have that shop there. I'd like to use it uh, actually a little bit more. Um, at any rate, so uh, these works have something to do with psychology, something to do with my own metaphysics. It's like rediscovering. I like the interpretive. I'm not, I don't go very much for the figurative. I'm wondering what's the least amount of information I can give to make the thing actually come to life. So it's suggested rather than defined experience, interpretation expression if the experience is valid the interpretation is real if the interpretation is real the expression is authentic if the expression is authentic hopefully it not only is a successful 
uh, in the time period it was created, but in the future and in the past, it exists as a as an element that is defined by the very fact that it cannot ever be completely defined. That's what makes art interesting. That's why art, once you put it up, you never take it down. If it's good, it's always front page news, Ezra Pound. It's always something that is somehow changing and, and amorphing. And it's amazing that human beings can contact this energy and actually bring it forth. Um, uh, because the best pieces in my mind, and as far as I understand, the best pieces are almost never intended. They're, they happen. Read Giacometti. It's just amazing the, the, the turmoil that guy went through. A lot of people really suffer and it's never you know, a glass of wine and a baguette and some cheese and well, sometimes it is, <clears throat> but um, it's nice to have a place where people can come together, where you can see where other people are working. Uh, the arts in America have always taken a back seat. So it's nice to have a place like Art Lab. Uh, my feeling is as more people come into the community, it'll serve an even greater purpose because there's a lot of space over there um, and a lot of place to build. Good. As Eric Mayer, um, I teach the course on uh, photography, which is beyond digital. The course itself is about um, your vision or honing your vision to be a lot like the camera. Um, the pieces that are in the show are uh, salt prints, which is a very early printing process. Um, they're totally unique. Um, done in large format and uh, as far as Art Lab is concerned, Art Lab is, a, is an essential part of the community, the art community and um, definitely used to preserve um, artistic techniques and uh, that's about all I have to say. <laughs> so my name is Chloe Flores, uh, I'm 19, I'm an amateur artist and um so my piece is called the breaking of reality basically it breaks everything down into these cool geometric colors and so i thought i'd do that and art lab's been like a part of my life since like i was like 12. i've been doing art lab for like ever and i love snug harbor too it's so pretty and it's such a wonderful community and that's why uh i wish to pursue uh my art and do art at art lab and uh, that's all I have. I am Madame Amuse, and um, the piece that I have in the art show, the uh, 18th annual open, is called Nefertiti, and it's a uh, glass mosaic on weedy board, which is an indestructible type of uh, backboard instead of wood. It's lighter. Um, I love mosaics. I took the classes here at the art lab. I've taken so many classes here. At Art Lab, I've taken portrait class, pottery, um, the mosaics, um, stained glass classes. The place is incredible. It's such a, a good deal. It's very inexpensive. Small classes, like five maximum with a, one instructor. You get a lot of screen time. Um, I meant time with the instructor, not screen time. Um, so the place is a, an amazing place. Um, I particularly love mosaics because I call it rescuing the uh, scrap glass that would have otherwise gone to waste from the stained glass classes. So I love to recycle anything. I don't like to waste anything at all. So that's why I love that particular art form. And also glass is so colorful and so beautiful and so shiny. And uh, many people like it for the same reason. Um, uh, let's see. Aside from that, um, I would say that taking class, I would recommend to people who don't take classes because they're afraid that they're not going to be good enough or they don't, they're not skilled. When I first started here, I didn't have any art skills at all, but I learned them along the way. And uh, the instructors are really patient. They're really wonderful people. And I would highly recommend the school for anyone who's interested in coming and taking some classes. Thank you for joining us on our new YouTube channel. You can find us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at ArtLabSI. 
or you can check out our website at artlabsi.com. Our reason for starting this YouTube channel is to bring the open show to a wider audience. Uh, so again, you can find us on social media. You can also look up the hashtags create something or hashtag find yourself at Art Lab. We do have one more week left of our annual open show. So if you get a chance, uh, come by Art Lab, 1000 Richmond Terrace in Snug Harbor, or you can view our artwork on YouTube. Thank you for joining us and I hope to see you at Art Lab soon. Hello, everybody. This is Lenann Daly, uh, the executive director at Art Lab, back again to say goodbye. And but first, to thank everybody for being here, for watching, everybody who makes these type of things possible. I have a wonderful office staff of three who you've met today on this video: Melissa Preeb and Tina Kiri, who have done so so much in preparing us to start our youtube channel i also want to thank the artists who participate year after year and the new artists who get the courage to come and uh, put their work into our shows i really ask everybody ev as many people as i can to put in personally uh, i personally appeal to them to put into the art lab show because i think it's just such a wonderful way to start off our year. But we also have other many other shows at the gallery. So I really wanna direct everybody too, to keep in touch with us through our website. Uh, it's um, artlabsi.com. Make sure you be in touch with us with that. We have other shows, we have artist opportunities, we have open calls as well as individual proposals that we accept. We are also located on the beautiful grounds of Snug Harbor, and it's just a lovely uh, way to spend your day, to take a visit around. Around There's still much to do here, uh, right now even. And uh, you could support us by uh, going to our website as well. We are a nonprofit organization and we do rely on help and support from others in order to make these programs possible. All of our viewing experiences at Art Lab Gallery have been free, free and open to the public seven days a week um, for many, many years. And the only time that we've been closed has been about six months starting from March of last year. But we're back open and we're so excited to be doing this new venue. And I also want to thank before we close close, I want to thank our funders who make this possible. Staten Island Foundation, the Department of Cultural Affairs, City Council, specifically our City Council person, Debbie Rose, and everybody else. And I want to just give a quick uh, thank you to the person who conducted the interviews behind the scenes, Richard Pelzer, because we're really learning a lot from him. Thank you so much. We hope to see you very soon at Art Lab and uh, go out there and create something today. Bye-bye.